So tell us what brings you to the Middle East, especially this is your first visit here. That's right. Um, so ICT Qatar, uh, they had a conference on open technologies with open source, open standards, and the rest, along with Creative Commons, which I'm involved with. So uh, yeah, so here I am. I, I came out to give a talk there, and, and, and I, I'm a graduate of CMU uh, and the West Coast campus specifically. So I've always been interested in what CMU Qatar was doing. So at least uh, since you are a graduate of Carnegie Mellon's West Coast campus, mm -hmm. I'm sure you also knew that Carnegie Mellon opened its first undergraduate branch campus here in Qatar and right. now you've actually had a chance of giving uh, a talk to students here. That's right. So what do you think about the campus so far? Well, first of all, it's beautiful. I mean, so CMU West is on the old NASA campus. Uh, they're in NASA Ames, so the buildings here are just, it's a whole other level. You know, so this is a really nice environment for the students and um, you should be very happy about that. Well, so. <laughs> Would you be interested in actually, you know, just as how Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. always has good ties with Google in Mountain View, California, would yeah. you want to open up those same roads to the Qatar campus? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was talking to one of your, uh, one of your deans about this just a few minutes ago, uh, you know, starting with internships and, 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 and research collaboration. So, you know, we'll see what happens. What about uh, not just with Carnegie Mellon, like, uh, as you know, Education City is actually part of a much bigger concept bringing the best programs from distinguished universities as right. such. Uh, do you see that, I know Google has an office in Dubai, but do you also see setting up maybe a research facility maybe here? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm, I'm going to talk to my boss about that, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know. In a lot of ways, Google is a very small company compared to the other companies that have uh, research facilities here. You know, we're, we're 20,000 people, which sounds like a lot, and, and, and about half of those are engineers. So question becomes, is there something that could happen in Qatar? Is, does Qatar have the established base of computer scientists that we can draw upon? And I, I think that this answer will be obvious in 10 years. Uh, I think right now it's not as obvious. So, you know, CMU graduates 20 to 30 computer scientists uh, a year right now. So how soon will they be at the level at which we would hire them? And there would be enough of an established base to draw upon is the question. So now, luckily, I don't have to make that decision. So. Um, but I can bring it to my boss and see what they think. And so. last words, do you have any words of wisdom to say to not just prospective students who will apply to Carnegie Mellon Qatar, but also to currently enrolled students? Um, keep programming. You know, it's, uh, you know, the mixture of algorithmic knowledge and actual programming knowledge is what makes a great computer scientist. And this is one of the reasons why open source matters so much, is you can, especially as a student, uh, see exactly what programming looks like. Uh, and that's pretty rare. So. Thank you very much.